After Gemini Pro, Google has just announced Imagine 2, which is a Dell E3 competitor. Google's Imagine 2 offers photorealistic text to image generation with improved accuracy and detail. This new model features enhanced capabilities like multilingual text and logo rendering, advanced in painting, and out painting. Imagine 2 is currently available through Google Cloud Vertex CI. Imagine 2 relies on a natural data distribution for realistic outputs and improved image caption pairing. Shortly, I'll be showing you how you can use Imagine 2 from Vertex CI, which is a managed service in Google Cloud. Currently, you can use Imagine 2 only through Google Console or through API calls. No SDK or uh, any sort of coding options are available at the moment, but as soon as they are, I'll be creating another video on them. Before I show you the demo as how this works, let me tell you what exactly is the inner working of it. First, look at your screen on the high quality of these images which were generated by Imagine 2. And this is to date Google's most advanced text to image technology. Imagine 2 excels at generating realistic and aesthetic images accounting for framing, lighting and exposure. The model is also integrated with Synth ID watermarking toolkit which makes it possible to distinguish AI generated images from natural images even after filtering and compression. Okay, now in order to use Imagine 2 in Google Cloud Console, first log in to your Google Cloud and then once you are logged in, just search for Vertex AI service in the middle or even the sandwich icon. Once you are there, then go to Model Garden as you can see here the second option in the Model Garden just search for Imagine in this text box and then wait it should show you Imagine here shortly or maybe press enter there you go so just select Imagine from here Imagine for image generation and editing once you will select that it will take you to the next screen let me make it a bit bigger okay it's not letting me making it bigger no worries okay that is fine so it will take you here on this screen and then click on open vision studio or you could view the code if you click on the view code this is how you can access it through curl api you just have to call this post method and then pass this json body as a payload let me show you how it looks like in the console so once you click on that studio it will take you to this screen here on the right hand side you can set some of the parameters like language and region where you are working and then in order to play around with your image simply you can uh, click on upload image so i just selected one of the thumbnail of my youtube video here and then click on generate caption or you can even um, generate from here or do the visual q and a in the bottom so you can see that you can ask question here so maybe i'll ask it um, is there any human picture in this image if yes can you recognize that person okay let's generate let's wait for it to come back so it has just given me the answer one so maybe it just takes one question at a time maybe maybe i'll just carry on with the next question in the image let's see what this so i have asked my prompt in a different way i'm asking it what's the name of the person in the image let's see if it is able to detect it this time because earlier when i was asking it what's the name of that person or who is that person it was not really giving me anyway so you can see that it, it so the context of this is seems to be limited to this image so it has only given me mellow gpt which is the title of this image there you go okay now if you want to generate an image from text unfortunately it's not available as of yet for everyone so if you click on generate and you go here and then it tells you this feature is available for a limited number of customers but 
if and you can request the access from here and then i think it will go through some process so unlike this blog post where it says that imagine 2 on vertex a is now generally available it's not and it, this was issued on december 14th and now the uh, date on which i'm making this video here in sydney australia it is 20th so i think google need, really needs to speed up it's uh, left its game here but anyway, uh, given the Google's quality of models, I am more than sure that this model is really going to be a really good one in terms of quality and speed. But let's see. Uh, let's wait for it to generally available. And as soon as it becomes generally available through uh, SDK and through console, I will make another video with a focus on SDK. Thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts, especially if you have used Delhi E and you think that uh, uh, this Imagine 2 is going to beat it or maybe another alternate of it. So, but the good thing for me is that there will be no monopoly, which is great. Thanks for watching and if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you.